Okay, the next set of videos um, that we're going to do is the advanced ways of using uh, Associate Press. And uh, so, and it's probably going to cover a couple videos. And, and really, I have to show you this stuff. Um, if I write it down and give it to you, it, it's it's just too hard to do that. So let me just show you um, exactly what we're doing now. Th what I'm talking about this has to do with creating very uh, unique uh, templating systems. Okay, um, that way to th that you can just set this up, and uh, it, it will take care of of adding the content to your site. Now here, here's what I suggest you do. Um, if you have a site that you call your money site, meaning um, it, the money site is the site that you are going to uh, be selling a product or be um, um, trying to make uh, commissions, okay, whatever that, whatever you're doing to get money, pardon me, that that is going to be your money site. Now, what I'm about to show you here is using the templating system. I recommend, and this is what I do, I recommend installing a fresh WordPress, okay, just a fresh WordPress um, independent of your money site, um, unless you have a really good blog system on your money site. Um, other than that, I, I recommend a fresh installation of WordPress. We're going to use that WordPress as your content generation, traffic generation, um, and, and uh, supporting your money site. Okay, so that's how I do it. That's that's the way um, I recommend it. Okay, um, the theme. You can use any theme you want. Um, really, it's just for this. What we're going to be doing using the um, one of the default themes is fine. Okay, um, but just keep in mind this is going to be a content-driven um, type of site when you're picking your theme for it. So a couple things that you want to have ready when you're doing this. Um, whatever. SEO plugin that you use, um, it's usually um, just fine to use uh, all-in-one SEO. So you want to make sure and have your SEO set up, mean, meaning you want to have um, your uh, sitemaps ready, okay, um, and all the, the video um, uh, image sitemaps um, and just the regular sitemap, okay. Those are some things you want to get ready. Now we're also going to be utili utilizing the RSS uh, feed syndication part of Associate Press. So make sure and watch the video over RSS. That way you can set up your um, folder, okay, to put all of your RSS feeds. And that video is above. Um, and we're also going to be adding um, a list of ping services. So um, we're going to be using, you know, as far as traffic, we're going to, in indexation of our, our sites, we're going to be using the RSS part of Associate Press, and we're going to be adding ping services. Okay, so what you'll see is this starts adding up, and, and it'll be a, a content and traffic generation system all on its own. Okay, so watch the RSS video, get that set up. Okay, set up all of your RSS feeds and manage aggregators. And now we're going to add some ping services, and I'll put those on your uh, training page also. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our ping services real quick. So we're going to go to settings, and we're going to go to writing. Okay, where it says update services, this is the area that we're going to put our ping services. These are different. These are not the same thing as RSS feeds, so these, these are different. Okay, so here is my list of ping services. I haven't gone through this uh, uh, lately, so when I give you this, you may look through it uh, if you want to do some check-in to make sure everything's still good. This is one of the latest releases, um, the best ping services to use. Um, so I'm just going to copy all those. And I'm going to bring them down over here underneath Pingomatic. Make sure, don't overwrite that because it's not in the list. Okay, and we're going to click Save. Okay, so all-in-one SEO, your RSS feeds and aggregators, um, your sitemaps, okay, important, um, and we got the ping services. So uh, those are some of the main things that you want to have done before you start any of your campaigns. Also, you want to have your keywords ready. So you are, you want to at this point you want to have already done your keyword research. Okay, now um, something I forgot to tell you. Like I said, we're going to be installing a fresh. Or, uh, installation of WordPress. This can be on a subdirectory or subdomain. It don't have to be on a domain all by itself. Okay, so you can put it on the a subdirectory or subdomain of your money site. And permalinks. You want to make sure and have those. Have them set to post name or a custom structure if you're going to use category and post name, and uh, you use that way or just put post name. Okay, and then click save. 
Now there are, there are a few other things you can do as far as you know other plugins or whatnot, but you want to try to keep this as light as possible. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Associate Press and we're going to go to temp, uh, Templates. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll end this video here and that way you can go along with me and do this with me. Um, so you have time right now to go ahead and, and um, uh, get your keywords ready, um, get, get the things that we talked about ready for this type of site. Okay, so once you have those things done, um, we'll start in the next video and we're actually going to start building this and I want you to do it with me as right along with me as I'm doing it and uh, so okay so we'll see you in the next video